cervical torsion test, which is another test that can be used with cervicogenic dizziness. Um, we're going to basically look at patient symptom provocation and looking for nystagmus in four different positions in this test. So you want to be directly in front of your patient so you can observe if there's any kind of nystagmus. You want your patient to have a, a fixation target, so I normally use my nose about 90 centimeters away. So you can ask your patient to look at my nose, of course, noting any kind of spontaneous nystagmus here. Then from that point, you have to stabilize their head and then ask your patient to rotate to the side as far as they can. And optimally, you want to get as close to that 90 degrees. And then you're just seeing if they have any of their symptoms there and observing any kind of nystagmus, you hold for about 30 seconds. That's going to be position one. Then you have them come back to neutral. Okay, and then this is your position two. You're also doing the same thing, looking for the symptom provocation and nystagmus. Then you're going into position three, where they're going to rotate to the side, keeping that gaze perfect. Again, looking for symptom provocation, nystagmus, and then coming back to center, and that's your fourth position. Um, also looking for nystagmus or uh, symptom provocation. Each position you hold for about 30 seconds.